In this video, we are going to talk about using risers to provide you with additional strength for the center stringers instead of supporting walls or braces. Now, here we actually have a brace nailed underneath, a supporting brace nailed underneath these stringers. And something like this is going to provide you with extra strength for the center stair stringer. You'll fasten it to the exterior walls, and then uh, that'll provide you with support for the for all three of the stringers, but more for the center stringer. And you can always build a wall underneath the stringers if you're looking for more strength. Now, in this example here, we have the stringers firmly attached to the walls on the outside. You have two walls. Uh, on each side of the stairway um, and you can firmly f uh, fasten the stringers to the each one of the studs by either toe nailing or in nailing from the stringer to the stud. Now the thing about these stringers is that they will move when they're long. If they're a little too long or maybe you chose to cut them out of 2x12s instead of 2x14s, the stairway can actually flex and move. That's why you need to nail the stringers to the wall studs if you have them. And that leaves you with your center stringer. Your center stringer is going to have the, is going to be supported by the risers. And that's the main reason why I'm making the video is just to kind of give you some ideas on uh, what you can do if you have walls on the outside or you don't have walls on the outside, but you do not want the stairway moving at all. And the risers will actually help with that. Um, so if the fur, if the uh, you nail the stringers to the outside of the walls, whether you have one or two stringers in the center. This one we have three three stringers, but if you have four stringers, it's still going to provide you with the same effect. The riser will act as a supporting brace. For each um, each riser will become a supporting brace when it is nailed into the uh, center stringer. So it'll basically as long as you can attach the exterior wall exterior stringers to a wall whether the wall is on the outside or underneath the stairway, the uh, center stringers will be supported by the risers. Now, if you have a stairway that uh, doesn't have any walls on the outside, then you would need a supporting wall like this under the stairways. Now, the uh, big question is how long do the stairs need to be before you need a supporting wall or how would you know? And that would be if the stairs move in any way. You do not want the stairs moving. They will squeak and of course it could cause structural damage to the components themselves. So simply put a wall underneath the stairs uh, midway I would imagine would be the best point. Makes sense and fasten the stringers to the wall and you can always use some blocks to get some extra strength. Simply nail the blocks, toe nail the blocks into the stringers or in nail them into uh, in nail, drive a nail from this, this side where the stringer is into the block, toe nail into the block into the wall and you can always use some hardware if you don't want to use some blocks but I don't recommend just nailing into the wall because uh, a lot of often it cracks when you're toe nailing at these points and if it does crack then uh, you might have a weak connection point and the stairs are going to move and the sporting wall will not do you any good so this isn't rocket science uh, again, the blocks are going to provide you with additional support. There is another view of it, and let's pan out one more time. That's about it for this um, supporting walls with the stringers. Hope it makes sense. If you got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment areas, and I will answer them as soon as possible. Don't forget to check out more stair building videos at this link. The link can also be found at the website, the top section on almost every page on the video button. Click on that for more videos, complete organized list. 
The list is updated every once in a while, so don't be surprised if some of the newer videos are not on it. But put the list together to make it a little easier for you to find some of the videos you're looking for.